NVIDIA GeForce is now available, which allows you to play PC games on your iPhone and your iPad. You heard that right. I'm going to show you how to sign up for the service for free, talk about the plans if you like it and you want to sign up for something more, and tell you why you should do it now. And make sure you watch the whole video because that part's very important. Why are we talking about this? Support for Fortnite's coming. And rumor is it's going to be here before the holiday. Here we are on NVIDIA's website and you can even see Fortnite centered on a laptop because you can also use this for other devices. It doesn't have to be an Apple iPhone or iPad. It is available on everything else. It's just finally coming to iPhone and iPad because they were a little more difficult to get through. Basically, it does not use the App Store, which is a workaround because Apple doesn't want you to use the Apple Store for cloud services. Since they have put up this restriction, companies had to find a way around it, and NVIDIA did. Now it works through Safari, which is pretty amazing. And I've seen it, and it looks pretty good. So we're going to go ahead and show you how to set this up. Let me go ahead and show you a little more about this. This is a great service. It works on Android, your laptop, your PC. So if you're having a problem, a good way to go ahead and get it set up. This is not a sponsored video or anything like that, so I don't want to think you think it is. I'm just showing you this because for iPhone and iPad users, I want you guys to be able to play Fortnite. And I think you should sign up now because I think once they release support for Fortnite, I think it's going to be a huge line, everyone getting in and trying to sign up at the same time. And you may have problems for days trying to sign up. So the best thing to do is be prepared and sign up now if you are looking forward to a solution like this. So like I said, there is a free service. Let me go ahead and show you that. Here are the services. The free one, it gives you one hour session length. So you'll be able to play the game for one hour before you have to take a break and you have standard access. So you may have to wait a little bit to get in line and you know play, but you have the free service and yeah, you get to play for an hour, which is a lot better than nothing for free. Then you have the move ups where you have founders for $4.99, you get priority access, extended session length, and RTX on, which is basically enhanced graphics. And then the founders gives you the same thing, plus you save a one month fee if you buy six months at a time. So it's up to you. I'm going to sign up for free because that's how I want to do it. It's basically the same thing if you're on an iPhone. So all you do is go ahead and choose join. But I want to make sure we're very specific with everything. So because of that, I'm going to take you to the iPhone. Let's do this. So a few other things before we get started. First, the website is going to be down in the comments, so you could just click it. You can just go to play.geforcenow.com. It'll automatically take you to this link on your phone, and then you can set it up that way. I believe with the free service, you get 60 FPS, 1080p, which is great. You can pair a PS4 controller with it. I know keyboard and mice are not supported at this time, but, you know, give it time. I'm sure they're going to add that. You know, this service is ahead of everyone else because people didn't go the Safari route. NVIDIA did, which is very smart. A lot of people report greatness with the games and that they just work very well. Some people said in the beginning it might be a little slow for the assets load in certain games that are very graphic intensive, but after a minute or two it calms down and runs very smoothly. So I just want to go ahead and give you all that information. Let's go ahead and jump in here and show you how to do it. Here it's going to say tap the share button on the toolbar, select add to home screen from the menu, launch GeForce Now from your home screen. So what this is doing is this is making an icon on your home screen. So we're going to go ahead and hit that, which is the share button. We're going to select add to home screen. And then here is the icon that it wants to add. Just go ahead and say add. And there we go. We're added. So now what we could do is choose it. And it's going to go in here and basically hit you with a protect your privacy. It's 2020. That's all it is lately. <laughs> Let's go ahead and accept that. Now we are in. Switching between uh, games and settings is easy with this menu. Give it a try. Uh, find your games. Type a game name or keyword here to add it to your library. Got it. Now keep in mind, if this is a paid game, you do have to pay for it. But if you've already owned it, it should sync up and show you it once you have it signed in. So we can go here and click on settings. 
and it'll give you some information. If you have a gift card, you can put that in, server location, automatic network status, streaming quality. All right, all that's good. So we don't have to worry about that. Let's go back to games. And it's gonna give you all the games. Let's go ahead and choose login. And it's gonna bring you here to join. So all you wanna do is click join today and create an account. I'm gonna go ahead and click login because I do have an account and I don't wanna make an extra account, but all you'll do is create an account quick. Here it's gonna bring up a few things here. Would you like recommendation settings? Yes, I'll take that. Technical settings? Yeah, we'll take that. Uh, emails? Uh, no, I'll pass. So let's go ahead and you choose your options and hit submit. You are logged in. Close this tab and return to GeForce Now app on your device to start gaming. Awesome. So uh, I'm gonna do that. So here it's gonna say sync your games. So we need to do that. Let's go ahead and sync games. It's gonna bring it up here and we can add Steam. You're just gonna get the basic information saying, you know, they're not affiliated. It's not their problem if you have an issue, blah, blah, blah. Go ahead and log into Steam and it will bring everything over for you. I'm gonna go ahead and do that now and I'll be right back. So now that we got that set up, after I did link it, it did send me an email that I had to verify that. So once you got that set up, choose proceed to Steam. Return GeForce now. You may close this browser. All right, great. It says here your Steam profile and game details must be public while syncing games. Set this in your Steam account options, then resync. All right, let's change that. So we selected public on that and resync. You may not have that problem. I just keep it private because of everything going on. And here we go. We got seven games. It's all updated. Awesome. Now we go back to games and now we're going to see the games that we have. So my library is here. Rocket League, Ark, No Man's Sky, got another Ark, tried Hunt for a while, Realm Royale, and Among Us. So now I can play those games on here. And I'm going to go ahead and fire one up just to show you. It's probably going to turn sideways, so we'll see what happens there. And play. Game requires a gamepad. It looks like you may need a controller. Sometimes they have it on screen, but so far these do not. So let's try out a game. You do need to have some type of gamepad, so I had to get a PS4 controller to play. So let's go ahead and just choose, Arc might take a bit to get in, but let's see what happens here. Basically giving me all the information. Yes, join today. Probably asked me to sign up for money. We're going to choose play now. I'm going to ask for the plan. We're going to do the free one now because I want to try it out and Fortnite's not out. And I don't know if I'll even use this that much, but I'm going to go ahead and try it because I'm always on my PC. Here it says, congratulations, you're in. Your free membership will let you play your PC games across a variety of devices. Plus, you can take the action with you wherever you go with cloud saves. Let you pick your game wherever you left off. Start gaming with GeForce now. And it says Windows, Mac OS, Nvidia Shield, Chromebook. Safari web browser, which is iPhone and iPad, and Android. We are good. Let's go ahead and hit done. Updating membership. Okay, continue. All right. We should be good for the free version. So let's try Arc now. We'll go ahead and choose play. Ooh, 30 minutes on the free one. So yeah, we're currently experiencing longer than usual wait as we find the available rig. Yeah. I had a feeling this is going to happen because everyone is checking it out. Let's see what happens if I do a different game. Let's try Rocket League just because it's going to be easier. Because I don't really have an available slot there. So it does look like it's going to take about a half hour. For the sake of this video, I guess I'll see you guys in a half hour. Alright, we're forced to rotate our device. Alright, here we go. We are loading... Rocket League, we should be. Pretty cool.
Now remember, this is not on the iPhone. You're seeing it blown up. On the iPhone, it looks a lot better. So there we have it. We played some Rocket League intro just to show you what it looks like. It looks a lot better on the iPhone itself. Again, the phone is like this big, and then I had it blown up on a big monitor. So you're going to see a good looking game anytime you play it unfortunately you do have to sign into everything so you have to sign into steam or epic games to get everything set up and after you do that you should be good and it should remember it and you should be set up so pretty neat it said i had to wait a half hour it was more like 12 minutes so it wasn't a full half hour i'm glad i waited for it because it wasn't that long so there you go let me know what you think fortnite should be coming out soon and when it does i'll do a video on how to play it on here but we already have this video on how to sign up so i would sign up today get ahead of things and then when it comes out you'll be ready to go and in the meantime you can check out some of the other games so thanks so much for stopping by appreciate it here are some other videos i think you'll enjoy i'll see you over there